Hi friend, let's talk about essential skill for app developer to be successful as a freelancer or team member in company and have a successful career in software development niche. If you want a career in app development, you should learn to ship the product. Many people overlook this skill while focusing on modern technologies or software development architectures. Of course, there are a few necessary skills to get into the software development career. You have to learn development. You have to learn programming concepts and, uh, and you have to keep Keep learning to stay on top of new things because programming is moving target, new concepts, new APIs are coming out every year. And of course, you have to have decent communication skills to be able to communicate with your colleagues and management and so on. I'm not talking about those basics, but if I have to point out one most important skill to stay in, <laughs> to stay in software development career and be successful, I would pick ability to deliver the product. If you want to become a developer, the career path isn't as simple as endless articles and tutorials to learn all the app building architectures. Sure, that is good to sharpen your skills, but you will never escape the hobbyist league without building and shipping actual products. Let me explain. Quite often I am asked which architecture I am using for software development, MVP, Viper and so on, but <laughs> believe me, that is not important. On beginning of your career you should not care about that. Suppose you would like to start career in app development or more specifically in iOS app development. In that case you have to learn how to take idea from your customer if you are a freelancer or from product manager or product owner if you are working in com company or team lead whatever, or just take an idea from your idea backlog. Take this idea and make compromises, necessary refinements and realize this product as ended product in the hands of the end users. Basically release that. There is endless list of all the software development architectures. MVC, MVP, Model View, View Model, Viper. So there is a lot. I can't even name all of them. The best app architecture always was Hollywood topic. App development architectures become essential when you work in a team with other people to build the app. Usually teams have their own interpretations for architecture, for example in VC but with coordinators. You never will learn exactly that architecture which you will use when you will get the work, so that's unlikely. iOS probably, I said probably, for the record I said probably, iOS probably has most highest requirements for using user interface qualities. So instead of learning all those endless technologies, how to build applications, learn how to build reliable, smooth, nice looking application which in the same time fits app review team requirements and fits end user expectations. That is not so easy target. Don't be paralyzed about writing the right way. And the clean code, the right code, don't be paralyzed about those uh, software development paradigms or design patterns. Start with sloppy but working code and rewrite it later. Let me add a quote here. Gal's law. A complex system that works invariably found to have evolved from simple systems that work it. A complex system designed from scratch never works and cannot be patched up to make it work. You have to start over with simple working th system. Sorry to say, but shitty code quite often is first step to simple but working system. So, what to do instead of learning all those design patterns? What could be some action points? If you already learned how to write shitty but working code, pick a project you want to build, ship that to the App Store and get feedback from real users. Test it on them and improve it and make it better. Get feedback and improve up based on that end user's feedback. Do that for a few projects and <laughs> Congratulations, you learned the most viable skill for iOS developer. Shipping stable and workable user-facing code. If you are looking how to get into software development, I have a video for you, check that out. That is video how to get into software development, how to start your career into software development. If you like this video, there are like buttons, do not forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye.